What's up, guys? This is Alex from Masuda Gaming. Uh, I was featured for the first time on uh, Two Man Wrecking Crew. Uh, I was the big shot caller. You guys might have been able Bullshit. to tell. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, uh, today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Logitech G502 Proteus Core Gaming Mouse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so one of my favorite parts about this mouse is the customizable weights that it comes with. Uh, all the mice that I've used before had it, but I like the actual customization on this one. It comes with a bunch of different tiny weights. Nice little uh, enclosure for them. Keep them stored, whatever you don't use. Little magnetic back plate just pops right off. You can just snap in whatever you want in whatever position you want depending on how you like to have your mouse uh, weighted in a different way or not. You just press them all in, take your back plate, this pops right back on and it's good to go. Uh, it actually is really light without any of the weights in it, so I actually have all of my weights in it because I like really heavy mouse. I've just always been doing that. All right, so this mouse has 11 programmable buttons, including your main buttons. Uh, it's got two really nicely positioned little thumb buttons, uh, a button that's mainly for or primarily the uh, DPI shifting, which lets you instantly lower or raise the DPI to whatever setting you want. I just mapped to a different key. You can, you don't have to use that feature. So you got two uh, buttons to the left of the left mouse button, uh, just kind of buttons. They're defaulted to uh, your DPI up and down, just kind of like to manually raise and lower it. Uh, you got your profile switch button, just kind of cycles through them. You can have different macros and your shortcuts to all your buttons and all that. Just kind of cycle through. Uh, has this cool little thing where you press it in and it unlocks your scroll wheel. You can just kind of keep spinning that as long as you want. I have not found a practical use for it yet. I just kind of like play with it at my desk when I'm in a loading screen or something. Uh, but otherwise, it's a really nice mouse wheel. Uh, I mean, you're not getting hit it by accident. It's very sturdy. It has left and right functionality too. Uh, the mouse buttons are very nice. You can click them all the way down here. Works just fine all the way up there. Very clicky. I love them. Uh, all these buttons are mechanical also. And they feel very nice to press. Alright, so now I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of the software that is included with your mouse. Uh, it has onboard memory, so you can plug it into any other computer, and it saves all your profiles and settings, or you can just have it to where automatic game detection. Uh, these are mine. Uh, I have one for like general computer use, copy-paste macros. One for League, one for shooters. Uh, the macro settings are really nice. It goes through uh, the entire function very fast. I know with other macro mouse buttons, it takes like two seconds to run through the entire file function. I mean, uh, this just goes instantly. It's great. Uh, you can have all the way down from 200 to 12,000 DPI. Uh, I'm sitting comfortably at 1500 right now on all my settings and you can have up to five different DPI settings that you cycle through uh, with your buttons to the left of your left mouse button or you can just go into your profile and mainly do it if you want those set for something else like I do. Uh, and then you have your lighting. Uh, it goes from very bright to very dim to off has this cool breathing effect. Uh, it's what I usually have it on. Kind of medium. Uh, then you have your DPI lighting, which shows your DPI settings, or just has a little light. Because I just have the one 
the DPI setting because I don't feel the need to change it. Uh, and then sleep timer, basic stuff like that. Uh, and then you can tune your mouse to your surface. I haven't personally noticed any difference from doing this, but I'll go ahead and walk through it. and tuning is complete. And then lastly, it has a little heat map which you can start and you can press all your buttons and stuff. I'm opening up a bunch of stuff right now. Uh, and then you stop it and it tells you what you click the most. Kinda cool. I don't know if I'll ever use it. And so that's the software. <laughs> what are you laughing at over there? <laughs> all right, so my final thoughts on this mouse uh, it's overall pretty great. I have a couple complaints. Uh, I don't like how there's not really much on the right side. It kind of feels empty when you're holding it. Kind of like you don't know where to put your ring and your pinky finger. It's kind of like sitting there. But uh, that being said, the grips on the right and the thumb rest are very good. Like, your hand doesn't get sweaty. Like, it might, but you don't notice it on your mouse. Uh, <laughs> I love the mechanical buttons. They're all, every button is really easy to press from where I hold my hand, which is a kind of like a palm style. Uh, the scroll wheel is awesome. Overall, it's a pretty great mouse. Alright guys, thanks for tuning into this video. Uh, look forward to the new videos that I'll be in, uh, the Two Man Wrecking Crew. Uh, we plan some Counter-Strike maybe in the future, some more Battlefield for sure, maybe some League? Question mark? I don't know yet. Uh, yeah, so peace. Thanks for watching.